Now the next problem we have on our list is something that's called the make versus buy problem. And what you're looking at here is trying to decide, given an output level, Q0, what is the cheapest way of producing that output? What is the cheapest technology? Least expensive. Least cost way of doing it. Um, and so, for example, what you're doing here is simply looking at some volume index that you have, two different technologies, and given some volume index there, which of these two technologies, C sub 1 or C sub 2, is the cheapest way of handling it? All there is to it, trying to find the cheap way. Now this could be things like trying to decide whether you should hire a janitor or a janitorial service, whether you should make the lenses that go on the back of the car yourself, or if you could have a subcontractor to do it. It's all just the various choice of technologies. Now the simplest example I have for this one is dealing with TriMet. Now, I take the train. I actually, in real life, have an annual pass because that's cheapest for me. But for the most part, people don't have those choices. They usually have only two. Technology number one, which is going to be a monthly pass, and technology number two, which is going to be getting the tickets from out of the machine. Now, I'm not exactly sure what the monthly and annual passes cost nowadays, but we'll do something simple, like say that this is a $60 per month, and we'll say that the individual tickets, again, I haven't looked in a while, like a dollar five per ticket that's out there. These are very, very outdated. I think it's a lot more expensive than this. Anyway, please note that this monthly pass that we have up here is all fixed cost. There's no variable component. And the tickets right here are all variable cost, and there's no fixed component. So if I ask you what the fixed cost is here, you say 60. I ask you what the average variable cost is, you say zero. On this one, if I ask you what the fixed cost is, you say zero. If I ask you for the average variable cost, you say $1.05. It's as simple as that. And what we're trying to do is choose the technology, technology given that we know what volume we're going to use. So what I end up doing is saying, well, look, I probably use the max about 40 times a month, something along those lines. And so what I get to do then is take a look at how these two cost functions are evaluated add volume of 40 in each case. And so there's cost function 1, there's cost function 2. Cost function 1 evaluated at a volume of 40 is just the $60. Cost function 2 evaluated at uh, 40 should be 165. What does this go ahead and give you? Ooh, didn't do the math on it as fast as I thought I did. So give me just a sec. I know that you guys have to do this for me usually. 165. 66 bucks. So effectively what you're doing with make versus buy is cheap, keeping the cheaper item. That's what you're doing is saying, oh, this one's cheaper. Now, most of the time we don't actually use the make versus buy decision like that. Um, most of the time what we're trying to do is find out where we start changing what particular technology we're going to use because we're afraid we're near it. Um, this 40 is not a whole lot of trips. Um, you got to remember that it could be something along the lines of, I know that there's going to be a lot of events during the month that I will want to come downtown, or there's a lot of time I want to come down on the weekend for whatever reason. We we'll start cranking that up. In real life, I have a significant amount of uncertainty about this particular number that's sitting around right here. 